Hey guys, in this lesson we will deal with fate of germ cell layers, organogenesis and extra embryonic membrane in the topic human embryology. This is presented by me Yogita Khandelwal. Fate of germ cell layers. So we have three germ cell layers, ectoderm, endoderm and mesoderm which gives rise to all the parts of our body. So which layer forms which we shall deal with it. Endoderm, so it is the internal layer, that is, it is the innermost layer. So, uh, lung cells, alveolar cell, thyroid cells and digestive cells, that is, pancreatic cells, these are derived from endoderm. Cardiac muscle cells, skeletal muscle cells, tubule cells of the kidney, red blood cells, smooth muscle cells in gut, these are derived from mesoderm, that is the middle layer. Skin cells of epidermis, neuron on brain and pigment cells. These structures are derived from ectoderm which is the external or outermost layer. So here are also the some uh, organs like elementary canal except stomodium and proctodium. Stomodium is precursor of mouth and proctodium is precursor of anal canal. So except the, these two structures, elementary canal, liver, pancreas, thyroid, parathyroid, pharynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, lungs and urinary bladders. All these structures are derived from endoderm. So basically all the uh, elementary canal and the uh, glands such as liver, pancreas, thyroid, parathyroid, all these structures are derived from endoderm. Mesoderm, we have connective tissue, muscles, bone, cartilage, blood, lymph, heart, middle ear, adrenal cortex, dermis, dentine, gonads, kidney and pleura of lungs. All these structures are derived from mesoderm. Ectoderm, we have stomodium and proctodium, uh, elementary canal except, so these two structures are derived from ectoderm. Nervous system, internal ear, eye and its muscles, epidermis, pituitary and pineal gland, adrenal medulla and enamel of teeth. So all these structures are derived from ectoderm. Now, see here, middle ear is derived from mesoderm, internal from ectoderm. Adrenal cortex from mesoderm and medulla from ectoderm similarly dentine of teeth from mesoderm and enamel of teeth from ectoderm organogenesis that is development of organs so let's see how the uh, organogenesis occurs in human embryo so in one month old embryo heart is formed so heart is formed at one month the first sign of growing fetus may be noticed by listening to the heart sound carefully through the stethoscope in second month, limbs and digits are formed. So, second month, we have limbs and digits. In third month, most of the major organ system is formed. Fifth month, fetal movement starts and that is called quickening and hairs appear on head. In sixth month, we have eyelashes are formed, eyelids separate and skin is covered by fine hair. So, hair appears on head in 5th month and skin is covered by fine hair in 6th month. 7th, 8th and 9th month because of secretion of respiratory surfactant, lung alveoli are formed and lungs becomes elastic. So, in 7th, 8th and 9th respiratory surfactant which causes lung elastic and lung alveoli formation. By the end of 9 months of pregnancy, the fetus is fully developed and is ready for delivery. So, just remember in which month, which development is occurring, this organogenesis is very important from your exam point of view. Extra embryonic membrane. So, we have st uh, studied in a previous lesson that we have four extra embryonic membrane, amnion, yolk sac, allantois and chorion. So, first starting with embryon, it is double layered, externally formed of mesodermal cells and internally formed of amniogenic cells which are ectodermal in origin and forms roof of amniotic cavity filled with amniotic fluid which serves following functions. So, we have double layered amnion, outer layer is mesodermal cell or more specific visceral extra embryonic mesoderm and internal is amniogenic cells which are ectodermal in origin and these amniogenic cells form roof of amniotic cavity and amniotic cavity is filled with amniotic fluid. Now, these are the functions of amniotic fluid. It is shock absorber, prevents desiccation of embryo, prevent fetal skin contact with surrounding tissue because if fetal skin contact comes with uh, 
comes in contact with surrounding tissue then it may produce immune response so it uh, fetal skin should be provide skin contact should be prevented and temperature regulation so all these functions are basically protective so amnion is protective in function second is yolk sac double layered outer layer is mesodermal and inner layer endodermal so similar to amnion it is also have two layers and outer layer is similar that is visceral extraembryonic mesoderm and inner here it is endodermal there it was ectodermal functions provides nutrition in initial stages of embryonic development first hemopoietic tissue in fetus that is blood forming tissue so thus it forms part of blood mesodermal layer forms primordial germ cells of gonad so it, it, this is very important that primordial germ cells of gonad is formed by mesodermal layer of yolk sac just remember it uh, it's very important and so basically new uh, yolk sac is nutritive in function allanto is double layered so it is also double layered and originates from yolk sac after gastrulation so after gastrulation has occurred it originates from yolk sac so thus it would be double layered and same mesoderm and ectoderm functions hemopoietic tissue and provides nutrition early embryonic stage same as the function of yolk sac in human it forms blood vessels of umbilical cord and wartans jelly that is mucopolysaccharide of umbilical cord so in human specifically it forms um, uh, um, blood vessels and wartans jelly of umbilical cord in eutherian mammal except human except human it forms part of placenta and stores urine during embryonic development so called urinary bladder of embryo so allantois is basically excretory in function and it is forming placenta in eutherian mammal and eutherian mammal have allanto chorionic placenta so it forms part of placenta but in humans it is just chorionic chorion it is formed of outer syncytotrophoblast cytotrophoblast and inner somatopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm all uh, there were three layers there are three layers while in all the three extra embryonic mesoderm they are double layered and they have visceral extra embryonic mesoderm and it is somatopleuric extra embryonic mesoderm functions human fetal placenta is formed only of chorion layer that is chorionic placenta while in eutherian mammals chorion along with allantois forms placenta that is allanto chorionic placenta so human placenta is chorionic while in eutherian mammal except human it is allanto chorionic secretes several placental hormone and protein which suppresses immune response of maternal blood against fetal tissue since maternal blood is in direct contact with fetal tissue so it secretes placental hormone and protein to suppress immune response through this membrane gaseous exchange occurs thus also called respiratory membrane so we have four layers amnion is protective in function yolk sac is nutritive in function allanto is is excretory and chorion is respiratory in function so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching